and welcome to another video. So today I'm sitting in front of my bookcase because there's something I really, really, really need to do and I am procrastinating so I thought it would be good to make a video about it so I have that little bit of extra motivation to do it. I am moving in two days and I need to clean up these bookshelves gather up all the books, put them in boxes, and also while I'm doing that, I thought why not do a book on haul? Here's how it's gonna go. I'm gonna go through each row of this bookcase and then show you guys the books that I'm on hauling. And there's also gonna be a video where I'm gonna organize my bookshelves in the new apartment. So you just sit back and relax. I'm gonna do this and while doing this, I'm gonna listen to Voyager, which is the third book in the Outland series by Deanna Gavlin. Also, all my Harry Potter stuff has to come with me, so I will be doing a organizing my Harry Potter collection video soon as well. And if you like these kind of bookish videos or Harry Potter videos, then don't forget to click that subscribe button and hit that bell so you never miss another video of me again. Now let's go. first row and I chose five books in this row to on haul. First up is Wicked As She Waits by Rin Chapeco. This is an arc that came in one of my fairy loop boxes. I've read it, I enjoyed it, um, but I just don't like this edition. It's a paper bag um, and if I am going to continue the series because it is a series called A Hundred Names for Magic. This is book one. So if book two uh, is published, then I will probably just buy book one and two um, hardcover editions because I think they look much better in my bookcase. So hopefully someone else will enjoy reading this. I can remember that this is about a Filipino teen who discovers she has magical powers and she is in the real world, but there's also a magical world called Avalon. She meets the prince who is gay, I believe, or bisexual. No, I'm pretty sure he was gay. And um, it's not like a big part in the book or anything, but I just enjoy that there's a gay prince in this book. And then they have this goal to go back to Avalon and restore the kingdom and they meet knights and see castles and there's an evil snow queen. So it's, yeah, it's just a fun fancy read. Also this edition is signed. I didn't really realize that. Maybe I should hold on to it. No, no, I'm unhauling it. Stick to your program, girl. Next up is House of Salt and Sorrows by Erin A. Craig. I remember that this is a young adult fantasy read and a retelling of the 12 dancing princesses. And it's basically a house with 10 daughters. Oh no, it makes sense that it would be 12 because it's a retelling of the 12 dancing prince. Wow. So these daughters die by accident, but then one of the daughters finds out that it's not an accident at all. And she goes on this like kind of hunt to see who is murdering her sisters. And then it just gets so weird. They find this teleporting stone and they go to this masked ball and there are hallucinations and then there's a demon. It was just so weird. I couldn't follow along at all. I was still kind of enjoying myself, but the logic was just so far-fetched that I, yeah, I'm not ever gonna read this again. So I hope someone else will, but I do really like the way this book looks. Okay, bye book. I'm also going on a haul to Alivius by Maureen Johnson. So this is probably a bit controversial because I know that a lot of people enjoy this series, but I didn't. <laughs> I just didn't like it at all. Although I do love a good murder mystery, this one just didn't do it for me. It is about this girl who goes back, Stevie Bell, who goes back to university and she's there to solve this cool case that happened in 19... 30 something. So while she's there solving the cold case, because that's what teens do when they go to an academy, um, there's another person that 
gets murdered and yeah that's kind of where the story ends it was like the story just stopped there wasn't a suspense or a build-up for me or anything i was just yeah i don't know i like the quirkiness of some of the characters and the jokes that they make because there are some good references in here uh, about harry potter and lord of the rings so i do really appreciate those but other than that this story didn't do anything for me so i'm going to unhaul it I'm also going to unhaul these two chunkers that are by Robert Gilbraith, aka JK Rowling, uh, Cuckoo's Calling and Silkworm. So these are actually Dutch books and in Dutch they're called Kukuksjong and Zijderups. Um, oh, sounds so weird. I <laughs> can't remember anything apart from the main character and he's a detective that solves cases. Um, tiny part of me wants to unhaul these books uh, because they are written by J.K. Rowling and because he's being such an insensitive person right now I just want to go like you can have your books but this is mostly due to the fact that I'm just never gonna reread these books I enjoyed them um, and that's it <laughs> I'm gonna unhaul three books. The Hobbit by Tolkien. I am unhauling this book because it is not as strong as the Lord of the Rings books and if I want to relive The Hobbit I will just watch the movie. And also this book is in Dutch and as I mentioned before I really do prefer my books in English so I am unhauling The Hobbit. The next unhaul is The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy by Douglas Adams. This is just one of those books that have been in my collection for such a long time. It's a paperback, it's in Dutch, those are all things that I don't like. And uh, also uh, there's a movie, so again if I want to relive this I will just watch the movie. But seriously I did really enjoy this book, I also enjoyed the movie. I don't really remember what it was about but if I have to take a gamble then I would say it's about a guy who's hitchhiking his way through the galaxy. But I do remember that I thought it was really funny and I believe it was about this guy. The earth got destroyed, he found this book like the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy and then he kind of explores the galaxy. So it is a really fun read but I'm probably not gonna ever read it again so on haul. Next up is Siege and Storm by Lee Bardugo. This is the second book in the Grishaverse trilogy and uh, this is a double copy so I'm just gonna get rid of it because I already have like the three books in a beautiful hardcover edition and this was just the wrong purchase so I'm gonna give it back. <laughs> So this was, okay, I first have to translate that to you guys, sorry. Um, this is all about the Egyptian old language, so the hieroglyphics. Hieroglyphics? Is it called that? Hiero... Hieroglyphics. Yeah, Egyptian hieroglyphics. So it is a book to learn how to read them. I just love like the old Egyptian culture, but I never, never picked it up. And I think it's been in my possession for almost... I want to say 10 years which is awful I'm such an awful person and it's actually a very interesting book but I I'm just I'm never gonna do this so I will just unhaul it and not feel guilty anymore I'm also gonna unhaul Wildland by Rebecca Hodge and this came in a once upon a book club box I really liked it it's a survival story I am just never gonna reread this also it's a paperback so mm, I thought why not let someone else enjoy this story. We follow Kat who is like a 15 year old woman who just heard that her cancer returns so she has to make a decision treatment or no treatment and she retreats to the Blue Ridge Mountains in this little cabin and while she's there a wildfire breaks out and she has to survive. 
I enjoyed it. It is a good story, but I just don't see myself ever picking it up again. And I'm also unhauling these two books. Again, they are in Dutch. So the translation would be Passions of the Brain, I believe, by Margriet Sitzkorn. And the other one is We Are Our Brain by Dick Swap. So um, yeah, these have to do with my profession because I am a psychologist and I specialize in neuropsychology which is basically everything uh, with the brain. And I study people who got like accidents and then they have cognitive disabilities, stuff like that. And these books I bought way back when I was really, really interested in it and I wanted to learn more about it. And these were just like easy reads compared to all the theory books that I already had for my study. Uh, but yeah, they've had their time. I've read them both twice, I think, and it's time to unhaul them. I'm done! <laughs> and finally, the last row of my bookcase. I am unhauling 14 books. First up are these four and they don't really count as books, but they were in my bookcase. These are travel guides from Paris, India and the world. I am just not going to use these anymore. So bye bye. The next three books that I'm on hauling have something in common. They are all historical biographies. The first one is The Diary of Anne Frank, and I think that everyone knows what this is, but this is about a girl who was in the Second World War, she was in hiding, and she wrote these letters, um, and you can read about them in her diary. And then the second one is another diary from Rutka Leskier, and she is like the Polish Anne Frank. And the third one is Ikis for the Mensheid, so again, a Dutch book, the correct translation would be I Choose Humanity, and this is written by Anne Watts. It's pretty much her life story and a big part of that is being a nurse in the Vietnam War. Um, I thought this was a very interesting book. It's very emotional as well. There are photos in there to see how it looked when she was a nurse. Yeah, just a very interesting, but I've read all three of them. I don't think I'm gonna reread them and these are not special editions or anything, so I'm unhauling them. Next up is another Dutch book, Taal is zeg maar echt mijn ding, by Pauline Cornelissen, and I believe the translation would be language is kind of really my thing. This is just a fun book, it's a very light read, and it just speaks about Dutch language and all the things we meant to say but we don't say with our language. Yeah, it's just a fun book, but I am never gonna read it again, so. The next book is probably one of my worst buys. I bought this probably eight years ago on an airport. It is The Secret by Rhonda Byrne. And I thought this would be like a mysterious book about ancient cultures and stuff like that. And also the description just sounds really intriguing. It talks about people like Plato, Galileo and Einstein who all knew the secret and now they're gonna share it with you. And I fell for that. I mean, I was one of those people that thought, yeah, I wanna know the secret. And then I opened the book and I was like, seriously, this is the secret? It's kind of, the, the basics are, I believe, I've read it like once. And it's, it's about if you think about money, you'll attract money, stuff like that. I mean, that's the secret. So yeah, never gonna look at this again. I'm gonna unhaul it. These are by Dan Brown, and you might know Dan Brown of The Da Vinci Code. I actually never read that book from him, but I did read these two, and these are The Bernini Mystery and The Juvenalist Dilemma. And these are again in Dutch. I don't really remember what these books were about. I know that this one is again with the main character from The Da Vinci Code, so Dr. Robert. Langdon and this is just like a standalone so this is more about coding and computers and stuff like that the government conspiracy theories I, I think I, I don't really remember um, but I'm not gonna read them again I might reread this one but then I will just listen to it on audiobook or buy the hardcover and the last two books that I am on hauling are Sapiens and Homo Deus by Yuval Noah Harari so these are chunkers these books are full of information they are filled with facts research theories it's just 
like a study all on its own. <laughs> and that's also the reason I've decided to unhaul them. I've read them. But if you ask me now, what do you remember? Tell me something from these books. I cannot answer that. I can remember some things, but definitely not everything. And that's just a shame. I'm not going to reread them. I'm not going to remember them five years down the line. So I'm going to pass them on. I have actually on haul 25 books. I am proud of myself. That's a good number. These books are going to go to a charity shop. I have done some research online and I found one near me in my city. So they are going to get a second home. Books, I just want to say thank you for sticking with me for these last couple of years, for not falling apart, for giving me this information and this enjoyable reading time. And I wish you good luck in the future. That was way too dramatic, right? Anyways, if you like this video, then please give it a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching and let's stay in touch. And I'll see you in my new apartment.